Alrighty, welcome back to Tech Stocking Shop. And this month we're talking about repairs and the tools that we use to do them. And what you're looking at is a bunch of broken bolts, right? With nuts welded on, kind of weird, All right? So if you look, these are exhaust bolts out of the GM LS engine. And a lot of times what happens is they break and they're a real pain in the butt to drill out. I'll show you a couple different options on how you do this. Okay, so on option number one, what you can do is you can come over here, get yourself a left-handed drill bit and a easy out and then you'll drill into the bolt like this. Now, there's a couple challenges to drilling on the bolt and using the easy out. For one, I have seen plenty of people break bolts off in here. Boy, it's a pain in the butt to deal with. All right, if you can see right there, you see how it's not flat? See how it's kind of cupped? Sometimes they have like a little ball in the center. Man, they are really hard to drill through when you do it like that. So, especially when it's recessed in the head, they make little tools and adapters that you can go in there. I'll show you another one. So you have this drill bit here and you can go and you can put it in this guide and this guide will fit into the front of the head and you can drill off the bolt and then you can use the easy out and extract it like that. And I'll kind of show you how it works here. Is it go up here like this, right? And then the drill bit would go through here. Now the problem with that is this, once again, if this isn't flat right here, Man, it's really hard to drill through, like almost impossible. So what I like to do is I like to go and I like to put some BBs on there, right? What I mean by BBs is I take my welder, I have a Hobart handler 140, and I come over here and I'll like tack it and I'll get it to where I'll stack BBs until it's exposed outside of the head. And then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a 3 8 by 16 nut and I'll put it on something like that, right? And I'll have something to weld to. And I'll weld a little bit here. I'll weld a little bit there. I'll kind of show you. I'll let it hang for a second. I'll give you all a better representation. <coughs> so what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll I'll tack it in. I'll tack it in. I'll tack it in. I'll tack it in. And then I'll go and I'll kind of weld it in and let it weld in the whole pool. But I want to get good contact on every side of the BB, right? And then you want to let it cool 100%. If it's still hot, don't mess with it. You've got to keep it cool. Cool is the name of the game of whenever you go to back these things out. So, you see what I've got right here? See how that's a closed in weld pool and all that? Now look, not all of these, see how that's just a stack of BBs right there? See the taper on that guy? Let's see if we can get the camera to focus. See how it's not straight? I had to just come in with BBs, just tap it up. Same right there. Same right there, right? Now, the other thing is like, why didn't you use like a extractor and the exposed ones? Cause the extractor doesn't fit on there all the time because these are eight and a quarter right here, eight by 1.25. And the shaft is not eight by 1.25. It's kind of a story for another day. So to give you an idea, what I would do is I would come in here. I got the battery disconnected on the car. I would come in here and I've already got my BB stacked. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna go like that and then I'll wait for a minute and I'll let it cool off and I'll come and fill it in right now your wire speed and your temperature is up to you right I like to do it on three and then I don't like to have a lot of wire speed because I don't want it to go and create this big old globby mess right I just want to stack some BBs right here so stack BB, stack BB stack BB and then I'm put my nut on there and I'm gonna I'm gonna tack it in I'm gonna weld it in I'm gonna let it cool 100% and then I'll show you how easy it comes out all right so if you've got a broken bolt, you're gonna weld a nut on there. A word of the wise, whenever you do this, just think cool off before you try to wrench it out. You'd be surprised how hard it is to weld up. And this thing just rolls right on out. I'll prove it to you here in just a second. I had a little experience, I'll tell you. I know for a fact, let it cool off. Man, she comes Check that out, I'm three for three here. All right, I mean, it takes practice and if you wanna get good at something, you gotta practice. So like I always tell the kids in football, perfect practice makes perfect. So get out there and practice on an old junk motor or something like that, get yourself good shot any vehicle with aluminum cylinder head you can go and use this practice on now i haven't got an opportunity to do a cast iron because the last cast iron one i did the broken bolts i was able to back off with a pair of vice grips so 
just gotta know what you're dealing with. Um, be confident in there. Make sure that you, you take away any areas that you can get uh, welding spatter in and uh, make sure you don't catch anything on fire. From uh, Tech Stock Shop, this is Speed Wrench. Thank you.